Update tonight on the fake paper license plate problem that we have here in the state of Texas. Reality, the fake ones, they're all over the roads. They're hiding what can be dangerous vehicles, in some cases dangerous people. Last year, state lawmakers passed a bill to outlaw most of those temporary paper tags, especially so we don't have fakes. Well, today we confirmed the debate over that new law isn't over. This is, this is devastating. It's devastating. It's now been nearly two years since Grand Prairie police officer Brandon Sy died in a crash while chasing a car with a fake paper license plate. The plate had been copied so many times, it was actually on hundreds of other vehicles as well. That's when Grand Prairie Police Chief Daniel Sesney began his campaign to get rid of paper tags. If you've got a computer and a printer at home, you can make a, a Texas paper tag. Last year, he showed us how easy it is to create a fake and then sent us out on the streets to spot them for ourselves. We've been out less than five minutes and already have a fake paper tag. Somebody's pulled over. In each case, the driver either didn't have a license, insurance, or proof of vehicle ownership. In Austin last year, Representative Craig Goldman filed House Bill 718 to outlaw most paper tags. Dozens of police agencies from across the state supported the move, but the auto industry, they fought it from the start. They came in privately and said, we're opposed to your bill. And to every single one of them, I said, okay, bring me your changes. Bring me things that you can live with. And they never did to me because they never thought I'd pass it. But the bill did pass. It won't become law until 2025, which is on purpose to give the state and dealers time to implement the changes. But now, more than halfway through that timeline, many car dealerships are still against the move. Our concern is that we're just switching from a fraudulent temp tag to a fraudulent metal tag. Today, a member of the Texas Auto Dealers Association told House lawmakers that she doesn't believe moving away from paper plates would solve the problem. The metal tag can be counterfeited very easily with wraps, etc. So I, I'm very concerned that we have not increased the awareness for the public, the safety for law enforcement, or that we've actually gone forward. In fact, we may have gone backward. Chief Sesney was in Austin today as well. I will be honest with you, I was really disappointed to hear that the uh, Auto Dealers Association was still uh, very reluctant to get on board. Um, you know, th this problem isn't going away. It would, I, would, I would hope that they could see the big picture, which is keeping Texans safe. And Chief Sesney also went on to tell me that while metal plates he knows can be faked as well, they can't be emailed, they can't be texted, and that can happen with the paper fakes, obviously. Today's hearing, by the way, was part of a status update. It was scheduled ahead of the next legislative session to make sure that implementation of that law is currently on track. We've got